I know you're ready to build that hardscape feature, whether it be a fireplace or a grill surround, but before you do, you need a solid level foundation. Stick around, I'll show you all the tips and tricks on how to achieve it. I know you're ready to get started, but before we do, I just want to go over a few essentials that we'll need for this build. Of course, we have the rock, the wheelbarrow, level, dead blow hammer, a tamp, our lumber, shovels and rakes, and some basic power tools. Click the link below to download the instructions for a more detailed list about what you'll need. You might be wondering what type of rock we recommend for, for our projects. For your basic fireplace feature or, or grill feature, we recommend using a road-based material, and that's a general term. Across the country, it's named different things. Dense grade, CA6, crusher run, it's all a one inch aggregate down to dust material. If you want to know how to order it, don't get too caught up on the name. Just check with your local supplier in the area and name road based material and they'll, get, they'll point you in the right direction of what you need. You've got your hole dug, you've got your two to three tons of rock in, but before we're ready to level our pad for where you want your feature at, we need to cut some lumber to get our screed boards in place. Now we got our stakes cut, enough with the woodworking. Let's hammer these guys in the ground, attach our screed rails and get everything leveled up to get our base set. We're down in the hole. We've dug out a trench where our screed rail is gonna be installed. So we wanna hammer the first stake in and try to get it to the approximate height that we desire. We really want to hammer the stake down below the screed rail so that when we run the screed board across it, uh, it's nice and fluid and doesn't get caught up on the stake. We have our stake below our reference board here. Now we're ready to screw our screed rail onto our stakes. We want to use two screws per stake, but a quick tip to getting everything level it's just to screw one screw into your screed rail at first. That way we're allowed to pivot to adjust it to get level to the second stake. We've got our screed board screwed to the first stake. Now we're ready to level up the board and screw it to the second stake. Let's get it done. If your board's too high, you can always hammer at the stake until it becomes level. If it's too low, you can unscrew it and reset it to get it level. Make sure you go back and set the second screw at the pivot point. You got your first screed rail leveled. Now we wanna set up our second screed rail. To do so, we want to level the two to each other. So first thing is we pulled an eight foot approximate measurement here to get to our first stake. The second thing is, is we took our two by six screed board, we set it on top of the stake as we hammered it down, and we want to use our level, the key point here is to level the two together. So we use our four foot level, and we want to hammer this, second, this first stake lower um, than actual proximate level here because again, we wanna get the stake lower than the screed rail so that it makes it nice and smooth when, when running the screed board across the top of your rails. All right, so I'm bringing this screed rail up to level with the first screed rail. I have my screed board set across from screed rail to stake and my level right in front of me here. So I'm just gonna gently raise this up. The level right there and sink the screw. Perfect. We're gonna do the same thing to this stake that we did with the other and everything should be leveled together. I've got my screws preset, that way I can just pick my screed rail up to level and sink it into place. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, we've double checked our first two screed rails and they're level, so that should make this level. Let's check it. 
It's perfect. Yay! We've got our rails leveled. Now we want to bring in some rock and uh, we don't want to compact any more than four inches of rock at a time. So we've, we've smoothed out our rock here to the bottom of our rails um, and now we're ready to run the compactor over it and then bring in some more rock to bring it to top, top of grade. Whether you're filling in an eight inch hole or a 24 inch hole, never fill more than four inches at a time without compacting. To be sure you never go over four inches, just use the thickness of your two by four as a guide. So we, we brought our second layer or lift up to the top of the screed rails now. Uh, now we're ready to run our screed board over the top of the rails to get it exactly level how we want it. Um, you're probably gonna need a friend to help you with this one. Look at that, nice and flat. Now we're ready to put some sand down. Now I'm gonna use coarse sand to fill our last half inch to bring our foundation to a smooth finish. Break your sand around to the approximate height, leaving it a little high, that way it makes for easy screeding. Alright guys, we're almost finished. Screeding the sand is the last step to achieve your final grade. It's not necessarily difficult, but I'm going to show you this in real time, that way you can see exactly how meticulous I am. You will find debris in your sand as you're screeding. Simply remove the debris from the sand, add some more sand to the affected area, and rescreed that section. Now that the sand's prepared, be sure and pull the screed board along the rails, giving good downward pressure. It's very important to keep debris off the rails as you're pulling. If you get caught with a big buildup of sand, you can take multiple swipes to get the top off. That way that last pull is nice and easy to make everything smooth. Since this is what we're gonna be building on top of, we really wanna be tedious to make sure this is perfect. Thanks for sticking with us. As you can see, we have our finished product here, this lovely level pad, where you can build any hardscape feature you would like on top of it. Be sure and subscribe to our channel and check out our next episode. Where we'll be building a fireplace on top of it. The fireplace is gonna be a whole lot more fun. Are we on? Yeah. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> the ostrich had Audrey's shaped feet. <laughs> I need another shot of whiskey. If you like it level, smash the like button. <laughs>